Hi, I'm Shireen Chalabi, the chairman of the ICANN board. So I'd like to talk to you today about ICANN as an organization first, and then I will talk to you about the board. The internet has become the most technologically shared resource in the history of mankind. It has changed the way we work and the way we live. Today there are four billion users using the internet. They use it to send emails to each other, they use it to find websites, they use it to access applications online. In order to do that and in order to connect with each other, they need to use an addressing system, almost like a phone book for the internet. That addressing system contains names and IP addresses. It is known as the domain name system and ICANN administers this domain name system on a global basis. In addition, ICANN publish a registry of protocols that were developed by standard organizations. These protocols are needed for the functioning of the internet. So, the names, the IP addresses, the protocols are known as the unique identifiers. And ICANN's mission is to ensure the stable, secure operations of these unique identifiers. So this is a technical mission, but it is a very, very critical mission for the operation of the internet. And without it, the internet will not be organized as we know it today. This role that ICANN undertakes is also critical and has an impact on the evolution and expansion of the internet. My name is George Sadowski. Uh, I have been a member of the ICANN board for eight years. Well, let's start with the internet. Uh, the internet is a relatively new thing on, on the world scene, but it's proven to be one of the best communication forms and the most versatile communication forms that we've ever had. It's important. It spreads knowledge. Uh, it spreads education. It makes markets. Uh, it brings people and uh, groups together. It's really important that we take, it, take care of it and make sure it works for us and for humanity as a whole. The thing that makes the internet work is that it has a series of identifiers which allow individuals and organizations to identify themselves and to communicate with others. The fundamental identifiers are numbers, internet protocol numbers, and names or domain names. ICANN's responsibility is to ensure that those systems work and provide uh, security and stability and resiliency to the internet to the extent that they possibly can. I'd like to now talk to you about the board and why I personally uh, joined the board and I hope when I explain that to you that will really give you the motivation to join the board as well and apply to us. So I did it for two reasons a professional reason and a personal reason. On a professional side, I joined a group that is at the heart of the internet ecosystem. You get exposure, you get access to important issues that affect millions and millions of people around the world that you would not have access to otherwise. You are there, uh, you learn a lot, but more importantly, you will participate and work in resolving these issues together with a stellar group of people, people that are very bright, not only from the ICANN board, but also from the community of ICANN and from the ICANN organization. So that is really the, the professional part. And to me, it was the pinnacle of my professional fulfillment. The second reason is a personal reason. I had the opportunity, and I hope you will have the opportunity, to be able to do uh, give something back to the industry. In other words, uh, we work in that industry for many years, we've all developed our careers, we've all benefited from it, and it's time, in my, view, in my case, it was time to give something back. And when I look back after retirement on my entire career, I will see this as a, as a great and important part of my life. And also, when you join the board, you assume a public service role. Not many people have the chance of doing so. So those are my reasons, the professional one and the personal one. So ICANN's involved in the domain name system and uh, unique identifiers on the internet. And being on the board 
is uh, an integral part of the multi-stakeholder model. The multi-stakeholder model uh, involves members of the community uh, appearing in various different supporting organisations and advisory committees to ICANN, and the board is uh, formed of elected members and people put on by the nominating committee. Um, the elected people come up normally through the supporting organisations and the advisory committee, the at-large advisory committee. And the nominating committee appointees are incredibly important because they bring uh, additional diversity uh, to a board that would otherwise simply be uh, a bunch of people who come directly from the community. Um, so uh, I'm uh, involved in, uh, I was involved in the country code side of things and I have lots of knowledge about that. Um, but uh, not necessarily, it's not necessarily uh, relevant for every single topic and so diverse levels of knowledge and interest are really important. The ICANN board is composed of 16 individuals and four liaisons. They are either experts in their field or experts in organizational governance. They're a good group of people, uh, they're intelligent, uh, they have a sense of humor, and they're all dedicated to ensuring that the internet as it exists with respect to these fundamental identifiers works and continues to work uh, well for all of us. It's an important obligation. It's an important thing to be involved in. I feel very privileged to be able to be a part of an organization that is helping to keep the internet well and alive. Hi, I'm Luzevis van der Laan. I'm from the Netherlands. So when I was first asked to apply to, for ICANN, I had no idea what, uh, what it stood for. And, uh, and my sister said, it must be some Apple thing, like iPod or iMac or something. And I thought maybe it was an Obama thing, like I can. Turns out it's, uh, it's the organization that uh, coordinates the organizations that work uh, to make the internet work with its unique identifiers. So I did some Googling and I found out what it was. And I said, look, I know the difference between an IP address and a domain name, but that's about the extent of it. But they said, well, actually, we need people who understand politics, human rights, how to deal with governments. And we have a lot of people who know about the technology, who know exactly how the internet works. But a board has to be diverse. You need different skill sets. And we also have to operate in the areas of your expertise. So I applied. And, uh, and it's really nice to know that I've been learning a lot about the technology and about the mission. Uh, but I've also been able to contribute for my area of expertise. And uh, when people ask me what I do, I try to say that between the incredible you know, geeks and skilled uh, engineers that run the internet and between uh, the politicians that are trying to understand it, I'm trying to build bridges between planet politics and planet geek. There's a lot of travel involved. Um, if you compare it to the private sector, you don't get compensated a lot. Uh, you have a lot of phone calls in the middle of the night. So there has to be something that actually drives you internally in order to want to do this, you know, to have no sleep, uh, very little compensation, and at the same time, uh, you know, a lot of work, lots of emails, lots of meetings. And I think what motivates me is that, uh, first of all, I'm making a contribution to something I really believe in. Um, an open, connected internet connects us all on the planet. And whether it's to do business or to fight for a better world, um, to just stay in touch you know, with uh, my kids when I'm traveling, uh, it's just a magical thing. And it's, it's dominating every single part of the world. And to be able to contribute to connecting all of us together on the planet is amazing. The second thing I love is that it's one of the few global things that actually works. And it's a unique ecosystem. This multi-stakeholder model is something that I'd never really come across. But people who voluntarily uh, dedicate their time and energy in a very open, inclusive, democratic, transparent, bottom-up way where everybody can chime in, everybody can make policies together, is fascinating. And, and, uh, I come from politics and I think this may actually be a model in which we can make other parts um, of the world, other policy areas work. So I'm studying it like that and saying, wow, this is just incredible. People who like each other, who trust each other, who don't trust each other, who dislike each other, but who sit together and, uh, and who, who make, uh, make the policies that make the internet work. It's, it's a unique thing to experience. And the other thing that I really like is the, the internationalism of it. You have different cultures, uh, different backgrounds, um, different languages, different regions. 
And uh, it's really important to be able to step out of your own uh, cultural identity and to say, well, in, in Asia, I'm going to have to be a little bit less Dutch, be a little bit more polite. Um, in, in America, it can be very straightforward, but it's important to keep on including people from different cultures. And, uh, and it's very nice to learn all the wonderful things that people from different cultures have to, have to bring. I can use my different languages. Um, I'm very interested in what's happening in other countries, whether it's internet shutdowns happening in Africa, whether it's censorship. Not that we have anything to do with content, but it's fascinating to see the things we take for granted and that others are still fighting for. And uh, if you're interested in other countries and interested in connecting the world, then a board is a really good place to, uh, to be. This board consists of members that come from different backgrounds, different geographies, different culture, some speak different languages, uh, whether it's a, uh, also a gender diversity, a skills diversity, age diversity, it's really uh, a melting pot of all of these cultures and diversities. And that is what makes the ICANN board such a rich environment to work with and to work uh, in because everybody brings their experiences and it's the cumulative of all of these experiences that make us um, find the right solution, not only for our own interest, but for the interest and the collective interest of the entire community. You should consider joining the ICANN board if you think that the work that ICANN does is important and you believe in the multi-stakeholder model. There are many different types of multi-stakeholder models. ICANN is only one of them, but it's pretty unique one and it's very important that we have good knowledgeable people on the board. The board of ICANN is consciously meant to be diverse. Uh, there are rules which state that each one of five areas of the world must have a representative on the board and there can be no more than five representatives from any one region. So our colleagues on the board come from different regions, different cultures, they speak different primary languages, and they have a world view altogether of what the internet is and should be and what we are trying to make it to be. Every board works when we have more diversity. So whether that is gender diversity, having a, you know, a good balance between men and women, linguistic, geographic, um, every perspective is important because a board basically has to supervise the CEO and the organization. And the ability to ask good questions, critical questions, uh, to um, want the organization to deliver value for money, to make sure that um, it's effective. That's just the key of any uh, private sector corporation. Ours is nonprofit, so we have, I think, an additional responsibility because we are here to serve the global public interest. And um, anyone who feels committed to that and is ready to dedicate time and energy I would very much encourage to apply, especially because we want the board to be a real reflection of the world, whether you have uh, uh, different backgrounds, engineering, law, uh, social sciences, anthropology, whether you speak different languages, come from different cultures. So we need a nice mix uh, of everyone together because it's our internet, it's one world internet, and so the whole world needs to be involved, including at the board. The ICANN board um, is a very, unique and diverse group of individuals. Um, I find it to be very representational of all different people from around the world geographically. Um, as a woman, it's, it's very nice to have a, a good group of other women on the board. We're all very supportive of each other. Um, and that diversity lends itself to um, a diversity of thought and to diversity of interests. Um, this is not a group that speaks necessarily with one mind, but we all work together and very respectful of each other. And the diversity that you find in the multi-stakeholder process itself is also leads up to the board level as well. And having um, people of all different backgrounds and cultures and genders um, has been fantastic. And I think it's something that's baked into the ICAM process itself. If you are a user of internet, uh, you should know about ICANN in the sense that uh, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, ICANN, 
oversees the operation of uh, internet from the standpoint of uh, security, stability, and resiliency of the internet. We are in charge of uh, overseeing these functions, these characteristics of internet, uh, in order to ensure the internet performs as it should. We at the ICANN board are in charge of uh, leading this organization with these objectives in mind. We invite people from di different sectors like the government, uh, civil society, private enterprise, academy, and technical community to join us in defining these policies. Well, the first thing you should expect, you expect to remain independent. By that I mean that according to our bylaws and according to California laws, you have to act at all times in the collective interest of all stakeholders, not the single interest of a single stakeholder. So that's a very important principle that you have to adhere to. The second principle, I call it teamwork. We work in a collegial environment. We support each other, we're open and transparent with each other, and not only with each other, but also with the community, with staff. It's team play. And that is very important uh, for our success, that we unite together in achieving results. And the third thing is commitment to work. On the board, we all have duties and responsibilities. And it is very important that we all commit to delivering our responsibilities in the most professional and the most competent and the most consistent manner. Being on the board involves quite a lot of work. It's not the sort of thing you can commit to uh, simply to do uh, three hours a week. Um, the amount of work varies, depends on what's going on in the community, but there are some fairly standard things that it's important to remember. The board uh, meets obviously at each ICANN meeting and there are three of those a year, and the board tends to meet for slightly longer than the ICANN meeting actually runs for. And then the board has a number of retreats or workshops in the year that are separate from those ICANN meetings. So that takes up a bit more time. And also board members, uh, whilst they don't have to, often do attend other, uh, uh, other things around the world, such as the Internet Governance Forum uh, and so on. So that's, there's that time commitment. And then of course there's the time commitment for preparation, the need to read the papers, the need to get ready. If you serve on the ICANN board, be aware that it is an obligation that involves a lot of work. Uh, you'll be involved with the ICANN community, uh, and generally uh, you'll meet with that community three times a year. Con the community consists of about two or three thousand individuals which, uh, which subscribe to supporting organizations and advisory committees. Uh, you'll be presented with a series of, of issues, issues of the moment, longer term issues that need to be resolved so that the identifier systems can continue to work. Uh, you will be serving on a variety of committees over your board tenure and uh, some of the committees are for example finance, audit, board governance and the like. Uh, and you'll be expected to uh, study the material that's required to function on those committees effectively and to, uh, with your fellow committee members, to make recommendations to the full board for action in a variety of, of dimensions. There's a steep learning curve. Um, it's an American company, so I took a training to learn about what my fiduciary duties are, uh, what our responsibilities are under California law. Uh, there is required training on anti-harassment, on anti-corruption. Um, I took additional training, so there's a, there's a budget for that, and uh, learned about how to contribute to a high-performance board, so that was very, very interesting to do. Uh, I chair the audit committee, so uh, I was increasing my auditing skills and making sure that everyone is involved. And I'm also active as chair of the trust working group, and we try to increase trust of the community in the board, but also of board members among ourselves. And um, one of the things I enjoy the most is um, engaging with the community. And it's really important, I think, not only to do that at ICANN meetings, but for example, I go to REP meetings, uh, which are mostly in Europe, because I'm European. We try to limit 
the travel between the ICANN meetings uh, to our own region to learn about what's happening in the numbering space. You know, the, I didn't know beforehand the big transition from IPv4 to IPv6. Now I can actually talk about it. Um, so you learn a lot of things and I think to be curious, to listen, to be engaged, uh, to ask the right questions um, is a really important skill to have and uh, you get a lot back for it too. When you join the ICANN board, I think um, at least for a newcomer who just may not be familiar with ICANN, you can expect a large learning curve, but there is an incredible amount of training and support that would go to, you know, to support you joining the board. Um, once you start learning about ICANN, everything comes quite easily, and um, you have committees where you can join and working groups where your natural interests that you brought with you from a, a place before the board you could put to use. So it, it is um, a lot of interesting work, uh, a lot of discussion, um, and people can find that they can find their own niche once they join the board in terms of what they enjoy working on and um, you know everyone lends their own unique perspective and background to the board's work. Serving on the ICANN board is a privilege. 